Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's review is going to be on the Collecte 2023 Anomalocaris. Just like the Kulasukis, finally one of the main companies has made a figure of this well-known prehistoric arthropod, or stem arthropod I should say. Given that Anomalocaris became more popular due to its appearance in Walking with Monsters and that it's often referred to as Earth's first apex predator, you would think that there would be more figures of this animal. There are a couple other Anomalocaris models out there. One that comes to mind is the one from Favorite Co. Ltd, a Japanese company. But since that figure is from Japan, you have to pay a lot of money for the shipping. So it's amazing that Collecte made a nice looking one that is more easily accessible. Let's do some quick measurements with the flexible ruler. The model has a total length of about 5 inches, but if we're excluding the appendages near the mouth and the tail flaps, the body length is a little over 4 inches long. For the width, it is about 2 inches. So Anomalocaris in real life was estimated to be around 40 centimeters in length excluding the appendages and the tail flaps. So the figure would be in the 1, 3.5 scale range. So yeah, Anomalocaris was not as big as previously thought. Previous estimates put the animal at about 3 to 6 feet. Starting off with the head sculpt, it looks very nice and creepy. Just look at the way those eyes look. Then you've got the compound eyes, which look like that of a fly's, the appendages near the mouth. Just look at the way it's sculpted, it must have been very difficult to make. This creature just looks like it's from another planet, a literal alien. Then there's the external armor, a trait of all arthropods, and the flaps on each side of the body. Each side has about 13 flaps. Then there, you've got the tail flaps, and on the underside, Another view of the flaps and the external armor, and the disc-shaped mouth. If you prefer scientific accuracy, then unfortunately, this model is not for you. Collecte's restoration of Anomalocaris is actually long outdated. The Dinosaur Toy Forum user named Flaffy posted a description talking about the inaccuracies of this model. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to read more about it. The coloration is very well done, it's reminiscent of that of a shrimp and it suits this animal very well. The primary color is kind of a red mixed with pink. On the center, it seems to be a yellowish green. The eye is a light blue and some of that same yellowish green can be also seen. Then you have what appears to be pupils which are colored black. There's dark brown on the appendage tips and the disc shaped mouth. The underbelly is a sandy color. And throughout the model, there appears to be a brown dry brushing. I enjoy the pose as well. It looks like its body is moving up and down as it swims through the Cambrian Ocean looking for prey. Starting off with our comparisons, here is the only other Anomalocaris figure I own. The one from Safari LTD's Cambrian Life Tube. And here is the rest of the Cambrian Life Tube. Here is the Collecte Redlichia Rex and the Collecte Olenoids from the Prehistoric Marine Tube. Both of these are Cambrian trilobites. Let's bring in two shelled cephalopods from Collecte. Here is the Cuperoceras and the Providoceras. Next, we have the Collecte Bellumnite and the Collecte Orthoceras. Here is a Camaroceras which is just a knockoff of the much smaller Kayoto Camaroceras. And I think it's very likely that Collecte will make a figure of this cephalopod in the future. Lastly for prehistoric invertebrates, here is the Safari LTD Ammonite, which I think is a Pleuroceras. Now let's bring in some of Collecte's marine reptiles, starting off with the Shastasaurus and the Deluxe Mosasaurus. Both are also 2023 releases. Here is the Deluxe Pliosaurus and the Deluxe Chronosaurus. Next, we have three long necked Plesiosaurus the Hydrotherosaurus, the Elasmosaurus, and the Deluxe Thalassomedon. Up next is the Atenborosaurus, the Dolly Corinthops, 
the Excalibosaurus, and the Temnodontosaurus. Last but not least, here is the Collecte Xyphactinus and the Collecte Mini Xyphactinus. Well, there you have it guys, that was my review on the Collecte 2023 Anomalocaris. Overall, despite it being outdated, I still enjoy this figure a lot, probably because, like a lot of other casual prehistoric animal collectors, I wanted an Anomalocaris figure for so long. Also because I don't know much about prehistoric arthropods as I do with dinosaurs or marine reptiles. The color scheme is still neat as well as the sculpt and detailing. Even the size of 13cm is pretty good especially since Anomalocaris was quite a small animal in real life. I still do recommend this since it's one of the very few figures of this animal, but I don't recommend it if you prefer scientifically accurate models. If you want this for yourself, you can buy it off of Minizoo, which is where I got mine. So I'm going to give this Anomalocaris an 8 out of 10. I still do wish that Collecte kept up with the recent reconstructions. If you guys enjoyed this review, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, it really supports my channel. And I will see you all in the next video.